Hello and welcome back to Miss Finance. So today we're going to have a look at some examples of accrual. So let's get our T accounts up. Okay, it's so the same as always. I'm going to keep the middle T account, the bank, which sits on the balance sheet. On our left, we're going to have accruals, which sits on the balance sheet. And on our right, we're going to have a profit and loss account. So this is going to be electricity. So accruals are liabilities and the reason that they are liabilities is because it's something that we've used but not yet paid for. So because it's been used and not yet paid for, we're not going to have anything in the bank. Our report period is, we're going to start with the 31st of March 2020. You can see that's a three. <laughs> Okay, so for our electricity, okay, for the period 1st of November 2019 to the 31st of January 2020, three months, we received a bill of £15,000. So currently, we don't have an invoice that covers the period of the 1st of February to the 31st of March. 2020. So what we need to do is we need to estimate what these costs are going to be. And how we do that is we take this £15,000, divide it by the number of months that it relates to, and then we're going to times it by the number of months that we want to know what these costs are going to be. So February and March are two months. So if we then times this by two, let's work this out. So £15,000 divided by three times by two. So it's £10,000. Now then, if we go to the balance sheet first, because it's easier when you're first starting out to understand what impacts the balance sheet to then work out what impacts the P&L, unless you're very good and you've done this multiple times. So over here, because this is a liability, because it's going to be a cost, we need to put a credit to accruals. So accruals, when you increase them, you're crediting them. If you're going to decrease accruals, you're going to debit them. So we've got our 10 grand here as a credit, which means therefore that we must have 10,000 pounds in our, our electricity nominal in the profit and loss as a debit. And that makes sense because, as we mentioned in an earlier video, revenue is a credit, cost, or a debit in the profit and loss. So let's do another example. I don't necessarily need this middle T account, but I'm going to keep it up there anyway so that in your mind you can almost visualise this when you're trying to work it out for yourself. So again, we have accruals, which is on the balance sheet, the bank, which is on the balance sheet, and then over here, let's have rent, which is in the P&L. So our year end is the 31st of July 2020. Now, we haven't received an invoice for rent for quite a while, and our last rent invoice was for the 1st of the 2nd, 2019, to the 31st of January, 2020, and this is for £55,000. So, the rent invoice was for 12 months, last received in January, so we haven't had an invoice in February, March, April, May, June. So for five months worth of costs, we haven't had an invoice. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the 55,000, divide that by 12, and then times that by the five months. Let's get a little calculator out. So that gives us £22,916.67 Double checking <laughs> So again if we start with the accruals 
over here on the balance sheet, that's going to be £22,916.67 because it's a credit and it's a liability and we've got £22,916.67 and again there's nothing that's in the bank because we haven't made any payment we're simply accounted for costs that relate to our period so let's do just one more example here so again we have accruals which sit on the balance sheet we have the bank which sits on the balance sheet and over here let's just have stationary so our year end here is let's do the 30th of September 2020 so the last time we received an invoice from a large supplier was on the 28th of February 2020 and this was for a period of the 1st of October 2019 to again, the 28th of February 2020. So if we count the months out, that was for October, November, December, January, February. So that was for five months. Okay, so we haven't received an invoice since the end of February. So if we count from there, we have March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So we haven't received anything for seven months worth of costs. Now the invoice was for £35,000. God knows what kind of stationery they were buying, but <laughs> it was for £35,000. So we're going to divide that by the five months and then times it by the seven months. That gives us £49,000. So again, let's go straight to the bank. There's nothing because we haven't made any payment. If we go to the balance sheet, we need to credit accruals because this is a liability that we are expecting. And then over here in stationery, we're going to debit the P&L. So we're going to debit the stationery nominal with £49,000. So I might just do one more here, just to help your understanding. Okay, so again, over here we have accruals, which are on the balance sheet, we have the bank, which is on the balance sheet, and then over here, let's have consumables, so food and drink. In the PL. So back in February, we held an event where we had catering costs of £16,000. Our year end is the 31st of May 2020. Now we know that we also held a catering event in April that we haven't had an invoice for. So what we need to do is we need to work out what those costs are going to be in April. So February catering costs of £16,000 were for three days of catering. So there was a day of preparation, let's say two days of preparation and not one day for hosting. Now. The days of preparation were 5k each and the day of hosting was 6k and the event in April had four days of catering and maybe they were catering for the Queen or something and one day of hosting. So all we really need to do here is actually take 5k times by the four plus 6k so that's just 26k so you might see questions that are a little bit different like this one here so again we we'll go to the bank nothing has left the bank 
So we have a liability potentially of £26,000. So we're going to credit calls in the balance sheet. And our opposite entry is to debit consumables in the profit and loss account for 26 k So I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. And please do consider subscribing as I shall continue doing more videos like this to help with your understanding of finance and accounting. Otherwise, I shall see you on the next video.